It's been more than a month since a Newtown family has seen their 14-year-old son Jabez Span. Now the FBI is joining the search for the teen, and if it's and excuse me, and it has re-energized those committed to his safe return. ABC 7's Erica Jackson was at a walk and prayer service this afternoon and shares why those close to Jabez are not giving up hope. It was here in the 1500 block of 23rd Street in Sarasota where 14 year old Jabez Span was last seen and just a few blocks away. Family and friends are coming together asking for a miracle through the power of prayer. I don't lost a husband. I lost a brother. I lost a sister. I lost my parents. I lost a son. But this is a feeling I never felt before in my life. Lucille Tillery is begging for answers after her grandson Jabez went missing from her front lawn Labor Day weekend. You're not supposed to wake up every morning wondering where he at, is he okay? You know, he's only 14 years old. He's like my brother, but I'm like, I would never think that to this day he would ever go missing. It's like a missing piece of our life, a puzzle that's been ripped apart and scattered. In Jesus' name. And all they love the Lord say, Amen. Amen. About 40 people prayed along the Span family Sunday afternoon. One friend sending his message through dance. We want Jesus! Bring him home! Then the group marched along Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Way, ending their procession where Jabez was last seen in front of Tillery's home. I'm still praying to God that he come back home in one piece. And I'm going to keep that little faith that I got, I got a little bit left, but I ain't going to let it go. Friends and relatives searching for the straight-A student who loves football, praying he gets another chance to play, making the plea to the community to come forward with information. Somebody know what's going on, and we appeal to you to please humble your heart and bring Jabez back home. Let our baby go. Shout out to Jabez, man. I love you, man. I miss you. A friend of the Span family tells us they want the FBI and Sarasota PD to continue with their search, but they add that the organized searches with community members have also been a big help and plan to host the next one on Sunday, October 15th. Reporting in Newtown, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.